Hello on Saturday the 18th of December. It's hard to believe that in a week's time it will be Christmas Day. Our opening prayer. We pray that God's faithfulness is known in a world which is full of change and hope, fear and adventure, and among our family and friends and in our homes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today's readings are from Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 5 to 8, and Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 24. It seems that the issues of Slee's honesty and integrity linked to people who hold positions of high office and influence isn't something which has cropped up recently. Yes, we have sadly heard about these matters with monotonous regularity over recent years. And unfortunately, it seems that things haven't improved over time and people haven't learnt from past experience. But the situation must have been very similar in biblical times. Certainly, the, book of, the books of kings in the Bible leave no doubt that the monarchs of those times were a rather motley group which rather explains the need for God to stress through Jeremiah that a just king is coming. Also, this king will come from the same family line as King David, a king who was widely respected and held in esteem by many people. Through Jeremiah, the people are told that the king who is to come will have the name the Lord gives justice. The things which Jeremiah talks about are picked up in Matthew's gospel in the account of the angel's visit to Joseph prior to Jesus' birth. In this visit it picks up on the fact that Joseph is part of King David's family line which is why he is to be Jesus' earthly father. We are also given a further insight into the nature of the coming king, who will also be referred to by names which mean to save people from their sins, that's what Jesus means, and Emmanuel, God with us. We now pray Come to our next prayer. Mighty Lord, we continue to pray that you will stop the spread of COVID-19 throughout the world. We are very focused on the problems here in Britain, but this means we have little knowledge about what's happening elsewhere. We know that health services throughout the world must be under extreme pressure. And we pray for the protection of all peoples and for the ongoing sharing of resources and expertise in the continued fight against this ongoing pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For today's prayer points, we pray for people who are tired and in need of rest. We pray for safe travelling this weekend as some people will be already making their Christmas visits to relatives in different parts of the country. And we pray for all who are unwell and worried about their health. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Just to let you know what's happening tomorrow, 
here at St Aidan's there are services at 9.30 and 11 o'clock and both of these services are effectively a short form of a carol service tying into the focus on Mary for whom we have our Advent uh, focus on the fourth Sunday of Advent. Then at St Luke's who are worshipping within the St Wilfred's Academy there is worship at 11 o'clock and then at 7 o'clock at night they're holding a carol service. The Reverends Jason and Barbara hope that you are all enjoying your day and our blessing the glory of the Father, the peace of the Saviour, the power of the Holy Spirit be within you and about you, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and your loved ones today and always.